Woo. Welcome back, everybody. I'm still at source, but Ken, and this is Insanity, Insanity Check. Check. Ooh, should we harmonize like like yeah, the street Insanity Negro? Check. Ooh, Insanity Ooh. Check. Ooh, blue, blue, blue. You can catch us on Facebook at Insanity Check. We are on Twitter at Insanity Check 12. That's the letter numbers 1 and 2. And we have our YouTube channel up, Insanity, Insanity Check, Check Radio. Radio. So go check that out. You see all the... Uh, Funny stuff that you wish you could hear over and over again, and now you can. Now, wait a second. My ears must be greasy, man. How come you can get your headphones to stay on yours like that, and my, my mind keeps slipping off? Um, I don't know. My ears are big enough. I don't understand. Well, that's for sure. Try hooking it onto your nose. Ha ha. Whatever. onto your stomach. Any kid, let's go, man. Speaking of stomachs. Yeah. Oh, good segue. What a transition. We're, we're, we're professionals um, here. Yeah. Um, a topic near and dear to Skillet Sauce's heart. That's right. Um, and his stomach and all the rest of you people's stomachs yeah. is um, food, once again, food and health. And um, no one destroys food and health more than, in my opinion, uh, Burger King. Burger King is the dicto of the fast food industry. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, it sounds redundant, but it, that's just the way I feel about it. And um, Burger King has now, they're testing uh, a new Sunday that they have. Uh, I believe that pitch will be coming up soon if it's not up already. Burger King is, is, is <laughs> the bacon Sunday. The bacon Sunday. And, and before you even get to Burger King, uh, I was talking to our, uh, our, our favorite uh, West Coast. Twinkie, Twinkie mm -hmm. man, yeah, and he was saying some gourmet actually did some sort of like fancy smancy uh, uh, bacon Sunday where they like minced bacon and stuff inside of some Vitamix and then it strained it and did like some real Iron Chef stuff mm -hmm. and then put like bacon bits. But but Burger King obviously is not that evolved. Yeah. They just took two salty sticks two. of bacon and crammed it into cheap ice cream and this is what's being sold to people and people are buying it because you hate ba Burger King listen if people buy it then well of course of course you know. but I, I hate Burger King but I also I commend them in my opinion mm -hmm. um, they are the ghetto of the of the fast food industry however they I don't know I know you, what you might gonna say about their celebrity blah blah blah, blah. Burger King makes no bones about trying to kill you uh, from that 1,300 calorie uh, um, um, uh, sandwich, yeah. uh, breakfast sandwich that they had, which I, I admit I tried because, you know. It's, Wait a second, you actually yeah. tried that sandwich? Yeah, I tried it. Oh, okay. I tried it. But, um, and, you know, I, I tried it, but I was standing in front of a hospital when I did it. Oh, okay. I'm about to yeah. say, what they, they didn't give it out with a, a, a respirator? <laughs> Fortunately, I did. A fibulator? I, I mean, and what you said was like two waffles? What, what, what was it? It was, a, it was, a, it was a, like a, a, a hero bread with um, bacon, sausage, eggs. I think they put the hash, the, 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 the home fries in there. Uh, some, some, oh, of course, cheese. You got to have cheese. Just some, you know, that if you want to yeah. stop your heart, you got to have cheese. And then it was surrounded by, what, uh, two two waffles or something like that? Two uh, pancakes or something? No, nah, I don't know. Because I don't do the, 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 the salt sweet thing. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Because I know one of them was surrounded by, like, two waffles or two pancakes. But uh, in any case, go ahead, man. Yeah. Just... So, so, yeah. So, they're, 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 they have the bacon sundae. As, as you probably saw just now on the screen, two strips of bacon stuffed inside of, of a sundae. And... I personally, I have a thing. I can't do salt and sweet. I know some people, a lot of people like that stuff, but this has gone way too far. This is just vile and disgusting because you, you got the, you know, I mean, health-wise, it's preposterous. First of all, it's a disgusting mixture, and something about this country and bacon, I mean, I know, you know, you had that commercial where uh, some woman wanted to get uh, some guys at a, at a bar to be attracted to her, so she, like, had <laughs> yes. bacon in her, put, yeah, her in purse. Yeah, in her purse, she put yeah. bacon in her purse. So the, the, the bacon essence started to permeate the place, and she, all of a sudden, dudes just appear. I, I'm sorry, I do not. I, whenever I think about bacon and, 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 and stuff like that, I think of begging strips. Remember begging oh, strips the, the for the damn stuff? dog? <laughs> and he's begging, and the dog is running. I well, mean, what is this American thing with bacon? I mean, I just don't well, understand. I, I think the Muslims are correct that pork is the meat of the devil. Yeah. Because well. I'm not going to lie. You know, it, it, nothing <laughs> fills up a street faster than the smell of bacon. And like on the boat, the, the corner store, oh, they're yeah, making yeah. the bacon. They get you. Yeah, yeah. you can smell that shit down the street. Yeah. You know, I can't smell steaks. 
from a steakhouse. You know, I can't smell. Yeah, you know, you're right. So, there's bacon has a. I mean, and, and yeah, it's it a, a very, powerful smell. And they say, you know, in the case of uh, the, uh, martial law, and you, we have to like save and hoard our food. They said, don't make any bacon. Because then the raving bands of hungry <laughs> savages will kick on your door. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I, you. I think the cloven beast is the devil. Yeah. I, I, because it just, it just, and, and remember, I told you the other day, there's a company who makes bacon products from, uh, <laughs> from, from, um, Bacon uh, essence to yeah. bacon this, bacon that, and they 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 made a bacon coffin for some yeah. some dead yeah. fucker right for 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 the people who are truly baconites. So they want to take bacon with them to the afterlife. Yeah, they have basically shrunk wrap mm-hmm. uh, the pattern of bacon onto coffins uh-huh. and are now selling it to people who just so want gonna, to die. Or they're gonna skip the line in heaven by by bribing a person in front of them with some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know, I, I mean, you know, I guess people get buried with their favorite, you know, the dolls and, and all that stuff. These people are going to get buried wrapped in bacon. That's ignorant. That's stupid. But whatever. But and okay. It, but it, it goes on. It goes further. Um, there's a place. Jeez, uh, I don't even know what the hell this place is. But I, it, uh, for a while ago, this, this was on the news. Um, oh, this is in Las Vegas, right? The, the heart attack? Yeah, the heart attack. Because oh, they closed it? down the first one. This one, the one oh, okay. that was this, this, this hog yeah. got, got stroked out was uh, yeah. a, a, in um, Las Vegas. For those who don't know, the heart attack grill mm-hmm. is a, well, I guess you can call it a theme restaurant. Yeah. The theme is You Might Die. Mm-hmm. Um, they uh, have burgers named after heart operations. Yeah. You can get the bypass mm-hmm. burger, yep. the double bypass, yes. the triple bypass, yes. and the quadruple Bypass for yes. all the, the 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 chambers in your heart that will exactly. collapse exactly <laughs> when, you, when you fucking eat this food. And um, you have they have oh um what's, what's the, 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 the heart attack fries? The heart attack fries and like the butter fat super right. double butter butter, butter fat, fat, fat fat shake shakes. And they sell unfiltered cigarettes, cigarettes in this joint. Yeah. You know what? So you might as well smoke a log or just like suck on a chocolate or something like that. Um, and, and they make you sign. Yes, you have to sign the papers. The same thing you signed when you went and dove out of that plane. Yeah, more or which less. Which means if you drop dead on the premises, you know, heart <gasps> burst, yeah. chest clutching, whatever, they sue. You can't be, you know, they can't be sued. So. And talk is not cheap for these people. Yeah. Um, video here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? The incentive, though, is if you're over 350 oh, yeah. pounds. Of course. You eat for free. Yes. Yeah, so you eat for all free. you stinking walruses, if you really want to eat for free, you can go to that place. But um, so we have a video here because it's claimed this latest victim, the heart yes. attack girl. Did. Yes. And um, so just take a look at you know what you can enjoy too. Mm-hmm. Another person suffers a medical episode at the heart attack grill. The owner says she lost consciousness while dining at the downtown eatery and was rushed to the hospital. Doug Johnson has the report. This amateur video, shot by a Fox 5 employee, shows a woman being taken out of the heart attack grill by EMT Saturday. She was unconscious uh, for a very long time, and up to and until when the ambulance took her away. The restaurant's owner, Dr. John Basso, says on top of eating one of his high-calorie burgers, the woman had been drinking a margarita and smoking cigarettes. And at one point, she fell to the floor. I wouldn't specifically say it's the heart. I wouldn't say it's the lungs. I would say that this woman had given her body every single thing it would handle, and the body finally gave out. Employees quickly called 911, and Basso says an ambulance was there within five minutes. And less than 24 hours later, the heart attack grill is full of diners, undisturbed by the event. No, sir, not at all. It's, it's, it's a treat. A yummy treat. A treat which can have as many calories as several days worth food. Saturday's incident was not the first medical problem a heart attack grill customer had. In February, a diner suffered a heart attack in the middle of eating a triple bypass burger. That last heart attack happened a couple days before that and it was good. Still, incidents like this aren't keeping customers away. Does that make you want to hear more or less? Um, more? They had a great big juicy cheeseburger and I was in the mood for one. I'd be more than happy to indulge myself. Others believe the restaurant itself is not to blame for the health of its customers. People are going to eat what they want to eat. If you have a heart attack in there, you were going to have a heart attack anywhere. And some are even letting their kids eat here. The kids run around, <laughs> so it's fine. I have to walk to school, so it's no big deal. Meanwhile, Basso says he has no shame for the medical problems his customers suffer while eating at his restaurant. And if anything, he admires them. These people understand that we or may not be living in the final days and 
They're going to enjoy every second of it. Doug Johnson reporting there. The restaurant owner says he has spoken with the family, and the woman is expected to be okay. There no. you could see people gleefully oh, yeah. ingesting. The, but notice the indifference mm -hmm. to their fellow man. Yeah. You know, they blame them. And, and, and not that they shouldn't, because, I mean, clearly this, this, this guy is not dragging people in off the streets to make him eat this food. He's making a joke like, oh, since yeah. what? Since the world is going to end yeah. in 2012, you might as well eat this. Go Listen, man. Listen. But, 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 but just a brief history. They had a spokesman for the restaurant. 600 pounds, mm. dropped dead, mm. 29 years old. Uh -huh. um, two months prior to this mm. event, another person uh, had a heart attack in there. And now this chick had a heart attack. Three people so far. Listen. Uh, the nurses, the, the waitresses are dressed up as nurses. Okay? This is all, you see the, the, the owner is dressed up in a doctor's uniform. You know, ha, 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 ha. Listen. Uh, and then, ah, 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 and then it's all Listen, all right. Everyone knows... You know what I said previously about fat, nasty bastard that had to get air lifted out of his. I am not hateful to all people that happen to be overweight, even though you might think so. I'm mostly upset with the people that are morbidly obese. If you're a mother that just you know gave birth to a ch you know children can't lose that weight. I'm not talking about you. If you're like a person that was in great shape, a big Whatever, whatever like that, and, you know, later in life, your metabolism slows down, you gain weight, fine. I'm not talking about you. If you had a glandular issue, if you had some sort of surgery, anything like that, I'm not talking about you. But what I'm talking about is if when you take off all of your clothes, you still look, look you're wearing a robe made out of sewn together, I'm talking about you. If you have more rolls than a Jewish deli, I'm talking about you. If the sound that's made when you slip and fall to the ground, rounds like two planets coming I'm talking about your fat ass if your posthopedic bed has the hydraulics that lifts up the space shuttle I'm talking about your fat ass you are more no, no act no care no concern for anyone that does not care about themselves now my family said hey, hey, hey well, they don't really call me skillet but whatever they said you're, you're tarsh you can't whip and strap these fat bastards you can't ladle <laughs> Crackling juice, where backs and watch them seem can't do that. Stuff. Their own crackling juice, by exactly. the way. Exactly. Which is so, just, the, it, it, it's just you, more you, you can't do all of that stuff. So I said, listen, okay, fine. Let's take the heart attack grill. Instead of having some sort of, you know, because we could try and embarrass and shame these bastards. So instead of having some sexy ass waitress come in there, bring Wavy Gravy, the hog man, in there and have <laughs> him serve your food. And not on a plate, but in a pig trough. So when you're eating out of a pig trough and people are hitting you in the back of your head with peanut shells and all this shit while you're on the floor, then maybe you'll be so disgraced that you won't do this. And so, so there you go. That solves it, everything. It is nonviolent, yeah. And yeah. that's my health state for the day, so says Skillet Song. Another public service announcement. That's right. From yeah. Insanity Check Radio. Take care of your health, people. Seriously. And you know what? Let me tell you something. I, I was doing some Park uh, two nights ago. And there was a big dude. I mean, this dude looked like he was about four pounds. You could not see the seat. I mean, the wheels were practically squares. But this dude had his equipment on, had his helmet, and he was riding around the park slowly. But he was doing his job because he something clicked in his brain, and he realized that, hey, I'm not going to be here for my family. I'm not going to be here for my friends, whomever. I'm not going to be here for myself. And he took it upon himself to try and do something. Those are the kind of people that I commend. I am not. I have nothing against those people because they acknowledge it. It's the ones that revel in their own gluttony. Like in the movie Seven, when he that hog to that chair and made him eat his own vomit that's what i'm talking about those people don't care about themselves so why should we new fat on the way to you yeah and on the way to you now is another break so we'll put you guys on hold we'll be back in two minutes i don't hate fat people